Hello people, what's up? I hope everyone is having an amazing day so guys Welcome back to my channel, I'm Nung Soning Leng So friends, today I'm going to show you how to propagate a moss rose So these are my moss rose I have in my garden You can check out So you can grow moss rose from cuttings So it blooms during summer So you can grow cuttings of moss rose during summer So this is my moss rose, I really love the first, you can see so I love the first looks really beautiful so guys before showing you the cuttings of most rose i'll take you to my most rose garden let's start now Guys, these are the most rose in my garden. So, this one I have planted in the hanging basket. You can hang it. So, when you hang, it looks really beautiful in the hanging basket. So, another I have planted in a big pot. You can see here. So, one in the small pot. So, these are the most rose. I'm going to take the cuttings from here. So, guys, it is very easy to grow. You don't need to use a root hormone or anything else. So, it grows during like the times of cuttings of most roses during summer so in during summer you can do cuttings anytime and it blooms during summer so you can keep this plant in the direct sunlight it doesn't matter to the plant so it, uh, about watering you can keep as much as you can so but the drainage holes should be good of the pot and the drainage system in the soil mix should be good so I'll take a cuttings from here one so it has many branches here so i can take as much as i can you can take any like this any one of them you don't need to choose in the most rows so all are perfect for cuttings so i took this much like this so about the soil mix you can use any type of soil mix so I have used garden soil and wormy compost. That's all. I have not mixed anything here. So you can see the soil mix here. So these days it is raining too much. But it doesn't affect my plan. Because I kept this in direct sunlight. So the soil mix is still wet. So it can survive in the direct sunlight. Or in the more rainy season. So, but drainage system should be good so that the water will flow out of the pot. So guys, I'll show you the cuttings now. I'll plant it in the pot. So guys, this is the pot I'm going to use here. The soil mix here I have used vermicompost mixed with garden soil. That's all. I have not used any chemical here or else any other fertilizer. So you can use a root hormone for planting these cuttings but I'm not using it because most rose is easy to grow so directly you can plant it in the pot like this place it place it like this you can plant it different colors of most rose in the same pot and will look more beautiful but I took only one color of most rose because I wanted to show you so that it can grow from cuttings easily okay now you can keep little bit of water here so the cuttings of most rose you don't need to keep in the shaded place or else in the indirect sunlight you can keep it in the direct sunlight it doesn't affect the plant it grows because all the cuttings I do I keep directly in the direct sunlight and it start blooming so 
so I'll wait this for seven to eight days till it grows well then I'll show you again guys this is after eight days I'm going to check it out whether the roots came out or not so this is the plan the new just has started coming out you can see the cuttings becoming huge now so I'm going to take out this plan and I'll show you the roots with the proof I did the cuttings so before taking out you need to put more water in the pot so that the roots plant will come out easily from the pot so give more water here so when you take out any plant you need to get more water in the pot and the plant will come out easily so I'll check one from here okay this is very easy to okay okay you can see the roots it's only eight days but the roots already started coming up so most roots it's very easy to grow from cuttings and another this one you can see the roots right all the cuttings i hope all the cuttings were successful here because the new branches already started coming up okay so it is just started coming out the root so i'll clean it out with the water and i'll show you clearly so guys this is the successful cuttings i did of most rows right so i'm going to plant it back in the pot again so remember you need to keep most rows in the direct sunlight do not bring to the indirect sunlight or in the shaded area if you want more blooms and huge flowers like this one so you like this type of flowers so you need to keep this in the direct sunlight okay i'll plant it this back in the pot again so guys this is how you have to grow most rows from cutting so i hope you enjoyed watching my video so if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell for more gardening videos until then thank you for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye